Good day and welcome Tutor LMS Academy viewers. In today's video, we'll take a look at the advanced settings of Tutor LMS and go to what the individual settings are for. So let's go. First up, we have a toggle to activate the Gutenberg editor for course creation. So if you enable this on the backend course builder, you would be able to use the Gutenberg editor to edit courses instead of the tutor editor. Then we can enable to hide the course products on your shop page. So if this setting is disabled, your tutor LMS course products along with any other WooCommerce products you might have will show up on the shop page. But let's say you enable the toggle and you don't want all the products to be shown and you want to hide only the tutor specific course products from your shop. This is the toggle that lets you do that. After that, we can select which page we want to be linked as our course archive page on the front end. Similar to the previous option, here you can select which page you want linked as the instructor registration page. Yet again, we have another setting to configure which page we want linked to the student registration page on Tutor LMS. Up next, we can change the lesson permalink base for Tutor LMS. So change this if you want to make any changes to the slug depending on what you might need. Then you can paste the API key for YouTube that you can set up from the Google Developer Console. You can then host live videos on YouTube and connect that with Tutor LMS. Next up, we have the profile completion toggle. So if you have this enabled, students and instructors will see a notification to complete their profile information if they haven't already. After that, we can toggle to enable the Tutor login model instead of the default WordPress login. So if you don't want your students or instructors to see the default WordPress login, you can show them the tutor login page instead. Next up, we have a very important setting. So if you want to restrict instructors from going into the WordPress admin back panel and be unable to see the admin bar, then go ahead and turn this setting on. This will hide the admin bar and restrict access to WP admin for instructors. The next setting is pretty self-explanatory. You can enable it to erase all data after the uninstallation of Tutor LMS. And lastly, we have a toggle to enable maintenance mode. So if you enable maintenance mode, your website will show a custom message to visitors on your site, letting them know that your site is currently not accessible or is under maintenance. The WordPress admin, however, is still going to be accessible to you. So you can have this on if your site is having an issue and you are trying to figure that out and so on. Well, there you have it. A short insight on the advanced settings of Tutor LMS. We hope that this was beneficial to you all. As always, be sure to let us know any feedback you had and we'll see you all on the next one.